crazy. <laughs> That's insane. Where does it stack up? Where does it stack up into like premiership gold medal? Oh, higher, or do you, you know what? I've never been asked this before. They mean different things. Yeah, hundred percent. Footy is like, it's my home. It's like, yeah, it's a proud family moment. Mm. And then rugby is like, I think it's more personal because I didn't have any help. Or I mean, I had guidance from my parents, but I was like, okay, yes. I'll mm. do this. All right, I'll do it. I'll, I'll, you know what I mean? Like, whereas... I don't because I've never won a premiership after yeah. the medal. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I'm, I mean more like, so footy, I was kind of like nurtured and like it was a kind of like a lot of people around me. Is, even though rugby was a team sport, we'd been... You'd done it uh, for yourself. Yeah, you know, like, that's kind of what I mean. Um, I had a, a lot of people around me, but I was still learning everything and I did it off my own back kind of thing. Mm. Yeah. Didn't have any training wheels, I think is what I'm trying to say. Like, I had no one holding my hand. Mm. Whereas. But also, you, you went and run the premiership here, though, and I lay by yourself. Yeah, I mean, learning. very true, yes. And I contributed to that season and that, that game. Um, but there was a lot of. Uh, group moments leading into the season, leading into. Um, I don't know how to explain this, but. I think because rugby was like, oh, I'll just rock up and I'll, it was, yeah, a snowball effect. Like I would just rock up, train for three days and be so sore, not knowing what I'm doing. Like I'm just here. I'm just, there was no knowledge of it. I was just present in that moment and I was just like, okay, yeah. Whereas footy, I know what I'm doing. I know what the, the result is. Mm-hmm. So I was like, it's a group thing. We all have the, the same yeah, adventure and same goal. Obviously, we did it rugby, but I was not really mentally a part of that because I was like, oh, I'm just picking up a ball. Do you think if you were, if you went and knew what was like, if you knew the actual, um, what's the word, well, like the actual importance of like, you know, you're actually going to go win a gold medal, do you think you would have been different, like a different kind of experience or a different you know, attitude towards it, been more serious or anything like that? I, um, really I do a lot of like blocking out. So I don't oh, do. Um, okay. I understand the moment, yep. but I don't let it affect me in a way as much as I can. Yeah. Okay. Um, one, because nerves, like, like mm. um, I think your subconscious can play tricks um, and nerves play tricks on you. And um, if you can't manage that in a certain degree, it can, yeah. Sometimes it can be beneficial, sometimes it's not. Um, and I think I'd rather be in control of that. So I remember for both, I think any major sporting event um, that I've had, um, and it could be round one for West Coast. It doesn't matter what it is. For me, if it's significant, it's significant. So Yeah, so it doesn't matter. Grandpa. Yeah, so I just kind of like, um, I'm mellow about it and understand what's happening around me, but I block it out because I don't want things to get ahead of me. I don't want to think about if this happens, what if this happens or this could happen. We could win a gold medal right now, you know. I think best way to put it is I know what can happen and I both sides of the, of the fence lose or win. But I'm like in that moment, this is what's happening. Mm. How do you block it all out? Is it is that you talk a lot of mental kind of self-talk? No, nah, not really. Like it's more, um, I guess, yes, like deep breathing, like, yeah, you know. Kind of, yeah. Is it you were just, is it kind of naturally? I think so because yeah. I think I've just done it for so long because nerves took over how I felt when I was doing track and field. And I think so individually, um, I remember it was a state comp and you do it every year. It's, it's a big moment because it's like your premiership but individually. Hmm. Um, and I remember my mum would be taking me to Perry Lakes at the time. Yeah. Um, and I'd be 7 a.m. in the morning. We're driving because we live so damn far away. And be in the back seat, and I'd be so anxious; it would make me feel sick. Okay. Um, and I'd be looking out the window, like just concentrating on something. And I think because of those moments, how I felt, that I knew those moments were really important to me. But I can't; I f- I physically can't feel like that, so I block it out. I've learned to block it out at a really early age. Something like that. It's not recognizing it and going, "I'm gonna take four deep breaths," and mm-hmm. you know what I mean. So. Um, 
it was more like that. I think my previous experience being in such an isolated sport, feeling like this, no one can help me in that moment, but then I'll run a race and be fueled based off my anxiety or um, adrenaline and all that kind of stuff. So I can still have that, but it's just I went when to give it to myself kind of thing. Mm, that's yeah. interesting. 